They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, you're going to wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> The ten percent who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. All into the west. All into the northwest there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. Can we find one? Line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not... Oh, look. On that little beach. Moors. We're in luck. An alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. <laughs> it's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. <laughs> we caught him. In the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature. In all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. The gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Damn. Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowan fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah, can you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, locals are going to start getting curious. Just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist.
Turn us around, so, so I'm facing it, please. Maybe I want this monster stuffed in on display. Huh. That's the spirit. Out you go, Ned. Get him and uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and run. And I don't like this. Not one bit. Oh, he's awake. I hope you're slow. Jump in the boat. In, 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 in. Got him. What a specimen. Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Doctor here. I'll just pull up to the bank. That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. 